What's happened here, Mrs Goggins? These can't all be for Greendale. Aye, Pat, you're right. There's been a mix-up in Pencaster. They've sent over all their post, muddled up with ours. Oh, dear. I've managed to sort a few out for you to be going on with. These are for the cafe. Right you are. I'll get these delivered, then I'll come back and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, I don't know how we're going to get these sorted in time. Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. We'll find a way. <gasps> UFOs! Yes, unidentified flying objects from outer space. Flying saucers? Yes. Aliens use them to fly around in. And I want to be the first person in Greendale to photograph one. Like Captain Zap catching aliens. Yeah! We could find a Martian. Discover a great green wild enormous... Oof! Tree! Ow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, let's get started. Hello, Nisha. Hello, Ted. Thanks, Pat. What's this? Morning, Pat. It's my latest invention, is this? A washer sorter machine. Oh. <gasps> it's a revolution in technology. Two settings, see? Sort and wash. But they're still dirty, Dad. Oh, uh, right. Must be a blockage in the water feed. Nicely sorted, though, eh? Hmm. Good job something's getting sorted today. What's the matter, Pat? The Pencaster office have mixed up the post. Poor Mrs Goggins is trying to sort it all out. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm on my way to the post office now to get some stamps. I can give her a hand. And by the time you're back, this place will be spotless. Thanks, Ted. Uh, just the plastic dishes in the machine, though. right -o. See you later, Nisha. Bye, Ted. Hang on, Pat. I just need a hand with me water feed before you go. Well, uh, I ought to be getting back. It won't take long. Put that in the top of the machine, could you? <coughs> By heck, I forgot to turn the tap on. <coughs> Nothing's coming out this end, Ted. Any good now? Hmm. <coughs> Must be someone blocking it. <coughs> Let's have a look. Meow. Meow. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh, goodness me. We've got to keep our eyes open for anything strange. I don't think there's anything. Look! Wow. What's that? A diamond shaped space cruiser. Just like Captain Zaps. Wow! Wow! What? <laughs> Maybe there'll be aliens in the space cruiser. I bet they'll be controlling it. I don't think aliens are controlling it. Uh... <laughs> Unless Lucy's an alien. <laughs> Lucy. Oh. That should do it. Thanks, Pat. Right you are, Ted. Come on, Jess. Aren't you going to stay and see it in action? Space Age technology is this. Sorry, Ted. we got to get back to Mrs Goggins. OK, I'll have these plates all done in no time. Cheerio. Hello. What are you three up to? Hello, Dad. We're looking for UFOs. UFOs? 
<laughs> In Greendale? Unidentified flying objects. UFO Gazette says they can be anywhere, anytime. We want to get a picture of one, if we can. The only unidentified objects I know about are in the post office waiting to be sorted. Are you coming, Jess? <coughs> Joining in the UFO hunt, are you? <coughs> <laughs> well, watch out for aliens. Bye. <coughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> UFOs in Greendale. <laughs> Whatever next. There you are, Pat. We've managed to sort a few more letters for you. Thanks, Denisha. One for Reverend Timms and one for Ted Glenn. Thanks, Nisha. Sorry to have been so long. I was giving Ted a hand with his washer sorter. How is he getting on? Don't worry. He'll have your dishes spotless with that machine of his. <coughs> that should do. Now, just put the soap in... Oops! Oh well, plates will be nice and clean with all that soap on them. Right, no UFO sightings in the church. And nothing outside PC Selby's house. Aliens could be anywhere. There might be a three-headed Martian. Or an alien from Beetlejuice. Or a... Uh... Um... Oh, an alien cat man. <gasps> Quick, take a picture. <sighs> Jess! The alien cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing very well, are we? Where haven't we looked yet? Um, the station. Come on, then. Let's go. Here you are, Reverend. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Thank you, Pat. Go in peace. Hmm. Must have put in too much soap. Now, let me see. Hey, no need for that. Ow! My egg! Meow, meow. What's that? Meow, meow. Unidentified noises! Meow, meow. It's coming from the cafe. My gum. Better do something. Nisha won't be pleased. Funny feeling about this. Do you speak our language? Yes! <sighs> we come in peace. Over here, everyone. Oh, oh, what's this? It's a. Uh... Space pod. An alien bubble man. Alien dead Glenn, more like. Ted? I had a spot of bother with me soap mixture. Oh no. Mr. Glenn? Oh, what a mess. 
Oh, we... we saw a... a flying saucer. So did I. They're all over the place. Ah, it was the washer sorter machine. The wash... Oh, no. I'm right sorry, Nisha. Don't worry, Ted. I'll soon wash the dishes. It's a shame, though. Aye. It worked fine before I put the water in. That machine could sort anything. Oh, I wish it could sort the post. I'm afraid I left Mrs Goggins with lots left to do. Hmm, that's an idea. Yes. Come on, Ted. Dry that machine out. We've got work to do. So have I. Flying saucers everywhere. We can help. We're experts at hunting flying saucers, aren't we? Oh, that'll be wonderful. I'll be back soon, Julian. <laughs> See you, Nisha. Oh, dear. Do you think it can take it, Pat? Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. Ready, Ted? In the go, Pat. <laughs> Ta da! It worked! <laughs> I said it would sort anything. Mrs. Goggins. That's terrific. We couldn't have done it without you, Ted. Come on, Ted. Let's see how they're getting on at the cafe. Oh, well done, everyone. You might not have found any UFOs, but you have found all Nisha's plates. Looks like there aren't any flying saucers in Greendale after all. Oh, yes, there are. As a thank you for clearing up all the plates, I've made a special Greendale flying saucer cake. Huh? Just for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Mum. Congratulations, Charlie. You're the first person in Greendale to take a picture of a flying saucer after all. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a letter?